So these courses um, have come out of this collaborative conversation about feminist pedagogy. Um, and these are the ideas of what, uh, what we would like to do together. There were, um, okay, so there's a graphic that we produced about the different notion of a, of a doc from a MOOC. Um, um, and what we had was uh, a network of um, 18 nodal sites through 15 institutions. And again, as the SOM discovered, um, it worked better to have individual professors at specific places teach their individual courses, um, but to also develop uh, through collaborative work some of the materials that we shared and some of the course assignments. There were great hopes to do some things like Wikipedia storming. One, it's very difficult to edit Wikipedia from outside of the small group of people at the top making decisions of, and Wikipedia. And Wikipedia, which is the digital archive of the world's future, um, leaves out a great deal of information. Um, and um, in particular, the topic of this course, feminism and technology, it leaves out whole histories of women in computing, women in all kinds of other uh, technological innovations. Um, and so we envisioned a collaboration, of course, the 18 nodal sites, 15 institutions, three community groups. There was also one in Second Life, um, so we, that's not on the slide, but we envisioned projects in which people would learn to edit from Edit Wikipedia, and we had one of the senior women editors. There are very few because they quit very quickly once they get to that level, um, but it was uh, unwieldy to manage, and we, we didn't figure out how to manage it. Fox News did... Um, a presentation about us making fun of us for injecting feminism into Wikipedia. Um, so we made some kind of a splash, but that needs to be rethought. Um, the technology um, was, our, um, was our Achilles heel. We didn't use Adobe, the Adobe meeting. We used a specific proprietorial, proprietorial site that was developed at Hunter, and I'm afraid it just couldn't take the number of people. So the robustness of the technology is one of the limiting factors uh, of this. But within how what we did do, we, it succeeded um, tremendously well. Um, we had 100%, um, virtually 100% um, success rate. We made, uh, here's, a, here's a photograph of our class. We had scholars in person visiting. Um, and we also, there were a set of um, 11 or 12 um, uh, video dialogues that were produced throughout the semester with uh, experts, often a senior and a junior person, but not only um, divided by uh, uh, age, um, also paired in other ways um, on uh, topics of, of the course. Um, there were collaborative projects. These are some of them. I helped write the white paper. I helped write grants. Um, I did some presentations and workshops. Um, I did an open uh, office hour. Um, and those also worked very well. And um, here are our plans for the future. We uh, are working now on, on in enhancing Yale's efforts in this along with the University of Michigan, which has given a good deal of resources to their um, participation in the, in the FemTechNet and the DOC and Digital Humanities Pedagogy. Um, we're looking forward to us uh, developing metrics or assessment, better platforms for interaction, and of course to continue to create the content which is coming in massively from all sides because this is truly a, um, this is truly a, 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 a as opposed to uh, proprietary uh, information. This is open and shared information, and people are joining this uh, at a great rate. This is a truly collaborative, organized course. Um, so I also, um, another thing that was great about <laughs> Yale is that instructional technology and TRIP um, have given us a lot of resources so that this, this course had um, a lab connected to it. Uh, a two-hour lab in the evening and on top of the two-hour seminar in which the students were taught 
uh, the, to use the digital platforms that, that would allow them to make their final project. And their final project is to make a digital street somewhere else from here and sometime other than now. To use the Yale resources in the libraries, the, the uh, archival richness of Yale, to imagine and to picture that street, but to create uh, uh, a, a product, a digital product. And that needed to be um, run by Tripp. So I'll let him come and talk a little bit about this. Thank you. So, right, so Laura's mentioned a little bit about the structure of the lab. We met every week except for shopping period. In the first several weeks, we addressed um, sort of broken down media construction problems. Uh, there were a wide range of prior experiences of the students, so there was a lot to do to balance uh, uh, things that students knew how to do, things that students uh, had seen a lot of but didn't know how to do, and then things that students didn't know how to do at all. Um, so some of these examples were basic media remixing, uh, basic image remixing. Uh, we spent a really wonderful class talking about the animated GIF. Um, we went uh, along. I love it because it's great. It elicits this, this smile on a lot of people's faces, but it really is wonderful to start breaking down um, the uh, sort of what you could call a basic uh, chunk of internet rhetoric that is the animated GIF, as well as the uh, what gets called a cinemagraph usually. It's kind of... Uh, it seems to want to be moved into this realm of high art, but in a lot of ways, technologically, it's the same thing. So we looked at those and how to create these and how students might uh, incorporate these into their projects. We did have one student who, at first, uh, in fact, was going to do his entire project in animated GIFs, but that didn't end up happening. Um, we did sound transformations, uh, basic video editing, and a quick flyby with markup. After that, we moved into much more open time when students could uh, express their interests, their problems they were having. Um, the uh, term project formulation is very elegant, uh, but over the last two years, I've been with this course for two years, it's been offered three times, uh, the students often have a bit of the terror of the blank page. Uh, it's a very elegant formulation, but what does that actually mean, a street some other time than now, somewhere else than here? Um, Yale students are very creative and aggressive in their thinking, and so they come up with all these possibilities. So part of lab also is this low hum of just project management. Uh, it's just get this done. Uh, so part of my job was to move them from the terror of the blank page to a final project, because done is better than not done. Um, we did have some visiting speakers come in uh, in the flesh. Uh, you saw a little bit in uh, that picture from the library on research overview. Somebody came in from the printer's office to talk about design thinking. Uh, and one thing I wouldn't mind seeing in the future is seeing how we can take the resources we have here uh, and see who else is interested in using our resources. Uh, Chika Ota from the printer's office is an amazing thinker and design thinker. Uh, and I'd love to be able to help uh, other people uh, gain access to her knowledge and experience. A um, couple things on the scholarship. We, uh, I mentioned a little bit of it with the, with the notion of the GIF. Um, so one of, one of my goals with the Media Lab was to get the students to defamiliarize themselves with this internet uh, media technology world that they inhabit. They swim in it, but I always tell people Yale is one of the great examples of the myth of the digital native. Um, my encounters with students are that they know what they know and they know how to do these basic things, but they don't really interrogate it that much. Uh, so we wanted to help them in interrogate these uh, tools, these environments that they use. Um, one of the ways I do that is to use open source tools as much as possible to get them to think about why uh, tool makers might have the agendas they have, why open source advocates might have the agendas they have. Wikipedia is a great example of that and that's embedded in the rest of the course. Um, and to get them to begin creating if they don't already, to get them reflect on their creation processes if they're already creating. Um, basically to think about the water, uh, which doesn't always happen. So just in closing, um, what are some examples of some digital streets that have happened? Well, one uh, was a pathway in Jamaica at the moment of emancipation from a, pl from a plantation to uh, the market, and that used uh, uh, archives from the British Center for British Art. Um, one of them was... Um, Oh, uh, a, a journey of uh, two avatars through 
uh, Disneyland Tokyo on opening day. Um, uh, one that was actually pretty effective this year was um, a tour. This also brings up a little bit of a problem letting students go with letting students go public. It was a tour uh, around uh, the perimeter of Yale, so Yale streets around the perimeter of Yale. There were uh, maybe eight people that went on this tour. We were each supplied an iPod. We each heard a soundtrack for this tour. Some of us were laughing, some of us were pensive. We learned at the end that we didn't have the same soundtrack, although we had the same tour, which is making a point about what the digital world, Cherry Turkle's point about living in the digital world to, alone together. Um, but what the tour was <laughs> were um, places where there had been, over the past 10 or 15 years, where, where there had been uh, crimes committed in the perimeter of Yale. Um, and so we, I made a fiat of a decision um, that that would not go online um, because I'm not sure that we want to talk about how many crimes there were. We're not, there weren't actually all that many. We have to discuss this. If you're going to let students do their own work, um, what you're going to also commit to what they want to say about Yale. And I don't know yet. We're, we're working on making this into a film, but I don't know yet exactly what to do with it. This is a feminist course. It works with outlaw knowledge, um, sexuality, violence, things like that. It eventually will have to learn how to make things public, but at this point, I didn't really know, so you can't see that. But it was a terrific project. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So do we have questions for Laura?